Hey, what's going on guys? Chad here with Greenlight Shooting. And welcome to this new video today. We're talking lasers and if they're worth installing on your own firearm. So a company called Crimson Trace reached out to me recently. Crimson Trace is a gigantic company in the firearms laser industry. They're probably the leading one in my opinion. So when they reached out, I was super stoked and they've honestly been a fantastic company to work with. The marketing people in general have just, just super great to work with. So anyways, this is not a sponsored video. There's no payment or anything here. They just sent out a couple lasers for me to try and they genuinely wanted to hear my feedback. So I was excited to do that. I took a couple different guns with lasers to the range the other day, we tried them out, I tried them in a couple different situations, you know, just at home, trying to pretend like it was a home defense situation, whatever. I created a pros and cons list off of this to hopefully help you decide whether or not putting a laser on your firearm is right for you. So let's dive into that pros and cons list first. First up, let's go through all the pros because I do think there was a lot of pros I came up with. And uh, number one, the most important thing to me that I found was the fact of just how intuitive the design is. So as you can see right here, the laser is actually up here, just hooks onto the accessory rail, goes across your trigger guard, and then down here is actually the button. So the button is sort of integrated into the grip itself. There are no paddles up here. There's nothing I'm reaching up here to turn on or off. So as soon as I grab this gun, my finger automatically hits that button and that laser is on. I don't have to think about it. The second I'm grabbing the gun, my laser is on and ready to go. And it's on as long as my hand is on this gun. There's no on off switch. There is no, there's no other function. It's just on or off and it's on when I grab the gun. I really love that about this. The other thing I found that was really interesting about it is I think it will help a lot in situations where maybe the ideal posture, the ideal shooting posture isn't possible. So for instance, you know, in my mind, I think about a critical situation and I think that my feet are going to be planted square, that my arms, I'm going to have both hands on the gun and be aimed down sights, front sight, focus, boom, boom, boom. The fact of the matter is that's probably not going to happen. You know, you may need to shoot from compromised positions, from behind cover, from whatever. And when I've got this laser on, as long as I've got it sighted in at somewhat of a, of a comparable distance, I trust that laser zero, I can shoot kind of from the hip from weird situations like this and, and feel confident that I'm going to hit somewhere close to that laser. I don't have to be looking down the sights. I don't have to have my front sight focus and be perfectly aligned. So I thought that was a really big situation plus. The other thing is there was very quick target acquisition. You know, you pull this thing up and as soon as that laser is on something, it's very quick to find your target. I don't know that it's as quick as something like a red dot like this, uh, but it was much quicker than I think just pure iron sights. Now the laser is obviously a huge plus in situations with low light. So for instance, home defense situations, uh, military police clearing buildings, whatever, uh, at low light, this laser is extremely bright. I mean, just think of a laser pointer or something that laser is going to go forever and it's going to show up extremely bright wherever it's pointing. Uh, so, you know, low light situations I think are a huge, huge benefit of this. The next thing I want to talk about, which is probably one of my favorite pros, it's one of my favorite ways to show new shooters what they're doing with the trigger, is I think it's a fantastic training tool. So, for instance, um, you know, obviously make sure your firearm is empty, uh, but for dry fires, you know, when you hold this laser on a target, you see me pull the trigger, maybe I'm a new shooter, and I can watch that laser dip because I'm anticipating recoil. So over time, I can get to the point where I can have that laser straight on something, pull that trigger and watch that laser not move whatsoever, not flinch at all. And then I can take the same gun with the same laser to a live fire range and I can implement that same setup where I can pull the trigger and watch the laser pretty much stay right on that target, come back down to target after the recoil. And you can really get a good sense of what your trigger finger's doing, whether you're pulling, you're pushing the trigger, whatever, you're really gonna start to see, there's a visual indicator of what your, of what your trigger finger's doing. So I think that's a fantastic training tool for beginner and advanced shooters alike. So Another thing I found that was pretty interesting, I was doing some research on lasers and uh, statistics show a great hit increase while using lasers. Now, to be fair, this was a, a study done by Crimson Trace, but they found with law enforcement officers that were using lasers, hit increases went up from as low as 25 up to as high as 90. So a really, really big increase. Another thing to think about is, is the psychological effect. You know, lasers, because of media, because of whatever, but I mean, if you see a laser on you, there is certainly a, a psychological effect that comes along with that. 
Another pro that I found was just how easy these things are to install and remove. As I showed, it just clips onto your accessory rail and it clips all the way down across your trigger guard and that's what holds it in place. It's almost like a sandwich here. So there's, there's two pieces, there's a seam right here. They sandwich together across that point. They just snap into place. And then there's two little mini screws right here. It comes with an Allen wrench, uh, just tighten those down and that's really all there is to it. So if I wanna take this off, I can just take those two screws out, just separate those two pieces, and it's off. So super simple to install and uh, remove. And then the last thing is, I think it's just kind of a cool look, you know? I mean, it just adds a little bit, something extra to the gun. Of course, you know, the laser itself going out there looks cool, but I think as far as the aesthetics of the gun itself, I think it adds something. I, I really like the way it looks. So those were all the pros. There was certainly a couple cons I ran into, some things just to keep in mind anyways. So let's dive into those. First up, the thing that I noticed, um, like with this gun, I have a laser right here, is uh, the target acquisition I talked about was pretty fast. It just wasn't as fast as with a red dot. My eyes always go to the red dot first. Maybe that's because I trained with it more. I don't know, uh, but it's something to keep in mind if target acquisition is your primary concern. The second con I ran into was like with this gun. So I've been carrying this gun for a while now. This is my M&P uh, 2.0, the 3.6 inch barrel, the compact one. And I can't use any of my holsters anymore. You know, this obviously changes the size, the shape of the gun, so it doesn't fit in the same holster. You have to get a holster that accommodates for this. Not a big deal. Crimson Trace is a very well-known company. There are a lot of holster companies that make holsters to, to accommodate a Crimson Trace. Um, it just meant I had to order another holster. So something to keep in mind. A couple other things to keep in mind. Number one, it is an electronics. It runs on a battery. Batteries fail, batteries run out, whatever. Uh, if you get super reliant upon that laser and then the day comes and it, it the laser dies, you know, it's just something to keep in mind. Uh, I will say on this box, it says free batteries for life, three year limited warranty. I don't know what that encompasses, uh, probably some sort of, of registration of the product or something, but it's cool that they offer free batteries for life. I also think these batteries are meant to last like freaking forever. So uh, that's really nice that the battery life is something that you don't really have to think about, but it is an electronic, so keep that in mind. Next thing, uh, the pro was that this is fantastic for low light situations. The con is that it just doesn't really do anything for you in daylight. We took these out to a range, an outdoor range in the middle of the day at noon, and uh, at any sort of range, you just you just couldn't see the laser. So it just, it doesn't necessarily take anything away from you. It just doesn't add anything in daylight. Next up, this is something that I found while again doing some research on these. I don't know how much reality this has for me as a guy who just likes to go to the range and shoot, but for law enforcement, things like that, I guess it could give away your location. Same thing with a flashlight or something like that. I think that the pros probably outweigh those, those cons, but uh, giving away a location is something, I guess, to kind of keep in mind in those critical situations. There are a few different designs of these. So you saw the one that went over the trigger guard. This one actually wraps around the back of the gun and you can see the button is right there. So when I grab in again, the laser turns on. And the one problem is the laser is right here. And my first instinct is to put my finger along the slide. And as you can see, I am blocking that laser from shining. So I have to actually bring my finger down to allow that laser to shine. It's something I have to consciously think about. So if you go with this design, uh, it is something you'll have to get in kind of the habit of and just, just be conscious of. The next thing is you're giving up your accessory rail. You know, I can't put a, a flashlight on there anymore. This completely takes it up. This is the only accessory I can run on this gun now. Keep that in mind. And last but not least is price. Now, I don't know that this is necessarily a con, but it is a little bit pricey. It is certainly an investment. The average price I found for these when searching through their websites, about 300 bucks each. So, you know, you're paying $500 for the gun, you pay an additional $300 for the laser, and then, you know, you have to buy an extra holster for, you know, 75 bucks or something like that that accommodates it. So, so it is certainly an investment. I think it's a worthy investment. I think that the pros do outweigh the cons, but certainly the price is something to think about. So, Hopefully that pros and cons list helps you out. I think it really does kind of come down to what your overall goals are for that specific firearm. For something like this, uh, for a carry firearm for me, when I get a holster that accommodates this setup, this is how I'm gonna run this gun. I'm gonna keep this, this laser on here. I don't necessarily wanna run a light on it because again, in a critical situation, I don't think I'm gonna pull this out and have the foresight to, to hit that paddle on to turn my flashlight on. I just want something that as soon as I grab this gun, it's on like that laser. 
on the other hand, I think if it's, if it's a fun gun, something like this that's meant for like USPSA, IDPA shooting or something like that, where you're just you're shooting a lot of steel, you're shooting moving targets, and you're just kind of having this as a fun range gun, I'm not sure that the laser is really something that's going to come in handy for me. So I, I don't know that I'm going to run it on a gun like this, but you know, if it's a concealed carry gun, if it's an at-home self-defense gun, something like that, uh, I do think that it is, it is certainly worth it. Again, hopefully that pros and cons list uh, helped you out. I hope that it gave you something to think about. I don't want to make that decision for you. I just want to lay out the facts that I found and uh, hopefully those facts help you to make the best decision for you and your goals with a specific firearm. Huge shout out to Crimson Trace for making this video possible, for sending these out and allowing me to do this whole test that I just did. So if you found it useful, please hit the thumbs up button. What are your thoughts on lasers? Let me know down in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel, share the video, all that good stuff. You guys know the drill. And that's, I think, all I've got for you today. So if you're interested in Crimson Trace, uh, all their information, the links to their website and stuff, and the, the lasers that I have here are linked down in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time on Green Light Shooting.